my camera bag is pretty, uh, I would say I go very light. I have a very minimal approach to uh, my photography. Uh, my camera bag pretty much consists of two bodies and two or three lenses. Uh, the extra body is just in case I have a problem with the first body, which rarely happens, but you have to always have a backup. And uh, I have a couple zooms, maybe two, 24 to 70, maybe a, what is it, 24 to 120. Uh, and I might have one prime lens, a 85 or 135. I've been photographing with Nikon cameras for maybe more than 30 years. And the most important part of a camera system is reliability. Uh, can you count on the camera? Does it perform? And Nikon cameras have always performed brilliantly for me. Well, I think the Nikon D810 probably is the best camera I've ever used. Uh, it's simple, uh, very sharp, beautiful pictures, good color. Uh, so it's, it's uh, the only thing I can say is it's just an amazing camera and, and really the best camera I've ever used. I would even include medium format in that statement. Well, some of the places that I have not been to, which I like to go to, is Iran. I think that would be a fascinating place to go. We hear about Iran so much in the news. Uh, Madagascar, uh, I've never, I've traveled throughout Africa extensively, but I've never been to Madagascar. I thought that, thought that would be an interesting place to explore. Um, otherwise, uh, I've been to most places that I've wanted to go in my career. I think it'd be interesting to go to Greenland or Iceland uh, to see what that sort of landscape is like. But uh, uh, I think Iran is the next step on my uh, t wish list. I think the biggest challenge I ever faced was working in Afghanistan and literally having to walk uh, all over the country and do it by foot. I mean, I just, it, it was so um, difficult to spend weeks or months up walking up and down mountains. It was, it was and sometimes in the dead of winter, uh, we didn't have perhaps maybe warm clothes. Uh, it, it, was, it was physically very grueling. Well, th I think my best piece of advice to young photographers is uh, know the history of photography. Uh, there's so much incredible work that's been made that it's, I think it's important to look at it, appreciate it, understand it, learn from it. Um, another, uh, I think if you want to be a photographer, you need to photograph. It sounds like a simple statement, but often photographers, uh, young photographers, uh, maybe shoot sporadically or once a week or whatever. I think you need to really work perhaps even every day uh, with your camera. And I think uh, the last thing is to be prepared to work really hard. I mean, this is like any other profession. Art, if you want to be an architect or a doctor or a, a dancer or whatever, it just takes a lot of time, effort, discipline, and it's you have to really look at it as kind of a long distance, uh, kind of like a marathon, that you have to really uh, be ready to uh, put the time and effort into it. I think my next big foreign trip will be to Afghanistan. This is a place I've worked uh, in more than 30 years and a place that I've very close to my heart, and it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about seeing what how the country's changed since the last time I was there, uh, maybe five or six years ago.